Texas, former employees of the newly branded Washington Commanders are alleging sexual misconduct within the organization, and they're calling on Congress to intervene. Congress. During a House Oversight Committee meeting on Thursday, six former employees of the league franchise gave emotional testimony about their experiences working for the team, including new allegations against the team's owner, Dan Snyder. Committee members reportedly now pressuring the NFL and Commissioner Roger Goodell to release a report about the team's workplace culture. Listen. When the investigation of the air pressure of Tom Brady's football concludes with 200 plus pages of a written report, but two decades of sexual harassment concludes with nothing, the NFL is showing us their complete lack of respect for women, for their employees, and for the culture of our country. Niall Stanage joining me now, White House columnist for The Hill. Thanks for being with us. Good to see you. It's been a little while. Good to see you too, Adrian. You forsook me for a rudent earlier this week, but I'm not salty about it. That's, you're not salty ever, Niall. You're always in a good mood, and I appreciate that. Uh, this story might put some people in a little bit of a salty mood, though. Uh, has Congress ever been involved with an NFL inquiry like this before? Not of this nature, Adrian, but it has, of course, been involved in the issue of brain damage in football. That has been a very serious issue. Congress was quite critical of the league for its uh, actions in that way. But this is a new area in which it's moving. Yeah, and I think a lot of people would wonder, um, you know, there's some lawmakers who have come out saying that harassment in the workplace, uh, some of these allegations, which um, include, um, I don't even want to get into the details, you have to read it, but uh, that the workplace harassment claims that they have should be dealt with at an HR level or perhaps in the courts, but not in Congress. So do we, do we know what the political uh, conversations have been surrounding the decision to have Congress involved? So I think there is a bit of a political split on this issue, Adrian. Um, Democrats tend to see this specific allegations that you mentioned regarding the Washington football team as a kind of aperture onto a bigger issue and onto things like the use of NDAs in, in legal agreements and the issue of toxic workplaces generally. Republicans tend to see it a little bit more uh, limited than that. They wonder why it should be Congress's job to investigate a specific private organization, albeit a very well-known one. They don't downplay the issue of sexual harassment. They're just not sure it's Congress's job. What could the penalties be? I mean, when I was thinking about this going all the way to Congress, I thought, would this team be suspended? Would they be just removed from the league? What is, what is the worst case scenario for the Washington commanders? So the Washington commanders, uh, before they adopted that name, were already fined $10 million by the NFL. As far as Congress's actions, it's really looking more at the league itself and whether the league properly looked into these allegations. So at the worst case scenario, to your point, there could be perhaps some change to the NFL's tax status. It has, uh, it's granted very generous tax status, but uh, we're a long way away from that, to be fair. Well, and I do have to say, I mean, in, in light of what you just said, the allegations, uh, this is being played out. Dan Snyder has come out publicly with a statement saying that he is denying every single allegation against him personally, admitting that there were workplace issues, and yet saying every single single accusation is false. I just want to make sure that we say that on the record. Yes, and I think it is important. We always try to give both sides here. And Dan Snyder, as you say, has been very emphatic in that denial. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to click on the red subscribe button below so you can get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.